What's up YouTube? KidMoto22 here and I'm coming to you guys today with an install. Many of you know that I put hard lowers on my bike and I'm not going to be able to use the old highway peg mounting system that I had with those. Um, I had the Ciro 3D mounting system and while that is great and I used it for two seasons, it doesn't work with the hard lowers. So what I did was I got a set of these. So these are the adjustable highway peg mounting kit from Harley Davidson, and these are the short angled. So I'm really hoping that these are gonna do the trick. I'm pretty excited to put these on um, to have a little bit more adjustability um, than I have um, with the Ciro kit. I'll be able to move, I guess, probably about two and a half inches further away from my legs or closer if I need to. And I'll be able to adjust the angle a little bit different and mount them a little bit lower if I like. So I think a lot of this adjustability um, for these mounting pegs are gonna be a pretty good system. And the clamp that goes around the highway bar is gonna be able to fit nicely with the hard lower kit. So there we go. Let's get to that install right now. All right, so we're here to do the highway pig install. And <clears throat> I'll show you the highway pigs that I got. <clears throat> so this is the actual highway pig that um, I'm gonna be installing. And this isn't the actual highway pig, but this is the mounting for it. So what's unique about this mounting system is that there's this two and a half inch arm here that articulates and um, and also the way that this is connected here, it'll go on the bar and it's gonna provide the room that I need behind this part of the hard lowers on the install. Now, um, when I was just taking a look at it just now, I realized that this is not gonna go in here together um, without taking the hard lower off and um, loosening it up at least to put this initial piece on here. And I can kind of show you why. So this has to go clamp around the bar, okay? So for it to clamp around the bar, it's gotta be able to fit in here. And the way that this is designed, it doesn't, it doesn't fit in. So I can try it multiple different ways and uh, it just, it doesn't fit in there. I don't wanna force it in without scratching things up. It's gonna fit in there just fine. I just have to loosen up the highway bars, or excuse me, I just have to loosen up the um, hard lowers a little bit and once I get this whole section loose I can just move it over a little bit I'll slide this around and then I'll just do kind of a, a temporary clamp down of it just to keep it in place just you know to kind of keep it on there where I want it I'll tighten everything back up on the hard lower and then I can adjust this up and down on that bar because there'll be plenty of room at that point and I'll be able to get this in the position that I need so it requires a little bit of work once I put the hard lowers on to get everything adjusted the way that I want it down here um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get this loosened up um, you if you saw on in the install on the um, on the hard lowers, you saw exactly how I did that, so um, how I installed these. So I'm not gonna go into any of that. I'm just gonna, um, we're just gonna cut right to one, once I get these this part on. And so we'll be back. In okay, so as you can see, I have one peg installed already. And this process is quite a bit more tedious than it looks. And so I thought I would have one peg on and just kind of show you a little bit with the opposite with the other peg, kind of what you do to do the install. So this actually comes apart in a couple pieces, okay? So there's the extension arm, and then there's a the part that goes around the bar. And you're gonna to wanna to use Allen wrench, and these two pieces actually have to come apart. So the first thing that I did was um, I took the screw out uh, to put the peg in first. So we'll take the screw out, and uh, we can install the screw just, just comes out pretty simple and then I hold on to the little metal piece that just helps with the tension okay and so I just hold that in with my fingers and then the peg installs so that it can flip up like this okay and so I slide the peg into place and then you're gonna have to kind of work it a little bit to line up the hole and so once you've got it lined up, then you can just begin screwing that in. And then once you get it turned in, 
I like to tighten it down. At that point, I'll put some torque on it. And the torque on that is going to put your tension on this, bringing that up and down, okay? So that pretty much solves that problem for you right there. The next part of the install is this part right here. So this is the clamp that goes around your bar and that's where you have to loosen up the entire, um, the, the entire hard lower. And so on this one, I loosened up the hard lower and again, with this piece, this bolt just turns out. Take it out. There's a washer on the inside. And there's also some notches on here and that allows for flexing this up and down. So you can tip it up higher, you can tip it down lower. I can, I can turn it all the way down and put it down real low. I like the position of this one right here. I tested it out just a couple minutes ago and that's how I know that that's the, the right height. And then on the inside, is just a plastic washer right here, and that plastic washer needs to sit in there, and that's what helps keep this together. Once you've opened up this area, this clamp just goes, you know, I just slid this in, and then just spun it around, and then clamped it on just like that, and then your other piece goes on just like that. So this is exactly the way that I'll install it, but I'll install it on the other side, but that's essentially all you need to do. Then once I got it installed, and I got everything clamped down, then I torqued this bolt down on the outside right here. I torqued it down so that these clamp, so it clamped down where the adjustment is at. So where you can see this adjustment at right in here, okay, where you can see that adjustment at right in there. I clamped that bolt down really tight so that this arm was in the exact position and it would not move up and down anymore. The nice thing is, is I can just loosen that bolt and I can swing this down if I want them lower or if I wanna raise them up higher, I can bring them up here. And this is about a two and a half inch pullback, so closer this way. So I'm pretty tall, I'm six foot three, but still, um, what this is doing also is it's pushing it out away from my body. So when you're riding with highway pigs like this, the advantage is, is it actually changes the position of your hips, which is really nice. And it, it changes the position of your knees. So those two things are the, probably the most important things in terms of um, repositioning your legs. So now that I have this one in place and I have it all torqued down the, the way that I want, I just need to go through and tighten the rest of the bolts that go on here. So it's a pretty simple install. Um, again, this just goes around and tightens down and clamps down in place. So that's about all there is to the install. Um, I'm going to get this thing buttoned up and uh, yeah, we'll go from I there. Like, so I like these clamps a lot, really nice and solid. They're very heavy, um, solid material. And so they're going to work great for what I need. And it provides the, the um, flexibility to get it away from the hard lower and also I have a little bit more of flexibility if I decide that this positioning is not exactly where I want it for right now. I really like that position and I'm gonna keep it there. All right, on this side, I'm not gonna talk as much. I'm just gonna show you the process from beginning to end and uh, just kind of show you everything that I do um, to do the install on this side. All right, well, there you go. Quick and dirty install on these uh, these highway pegs. It wasn't too hard. Um, 
The worst part about doing any type of install of highway pegs when you have something on both sides of your bike is really getting it symmetrical so that it matches um, where you have it on the bike and so that you have kind of the right distance and everything. So that takes a little bit of adjusting. I'll run these for a while. If it's not in the right place, I'll probably have to move them. And uh, that's about it. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button over here, over here. And again, like always, I'll put a link to another video, maybe another install up there that you might be interested in watching. This is Kid Moto. I'm out.